you're on the SQL Server bandwagon. Now what? In this video, we'll look at five third-party add-ins for SQL Server, right after the jump. Welcome to this video on SQL Server. My name is Kevin Fiesel. I'm the proprietor of Catalyxy Services, LLC, a consulting firm which specializes in work all across the data platform space, especially SQL Server. Today, I wanna to talk about, for lack of a better term, add-ins for SQL Server. And I'm gonna give you five of these. Scratch that. I'm gonna give you the top five of these. That's right, we just made this a ranking. Let the games begin. Before I start tossing out answers though, let's set some ground rules. I'm only thinking about things which are not included with SQL Server itself. SQL Server is a huge ecosystem right out of the box, as we saw when installing it on Windows. That's not what we're talking about here. No, no, I wanna talk about third-party solutions today, but not just any third-party solution. It's got to be built around T-SQL and run in the confines of SQL Server and maybe the SQL Server agent. In practical terms, this means DBA Tools is not on the list. I have a lot of positive things to say about DBA Tools as well as DBA Checks, and I'm sure I'll say those things in future videos. For today, I'm sticking to T-SQL. The final criterion for selection is that it must be freely available in some form. I'm fine with there being a paid version which offers extra functionality, but for the purposes of this totally legitimate top five list, I'm only gonna consider the free tier. We've got our foundation. I'm all excited to get started, and I hope you are too. So let's do it. I want to start with a couple of honorable mentions. The first one is QDS Toolbox, put together by some former work colleagues. If you've used Query Store in the past, you know there's a lot of really powerful information in there, but it can sometimes be hard to get to it. QDS Toolbox is a set of T-SQL scripts, views, and stored procedures which mine the Query Store on a given database and let you get those sweet, sweet insights from it. Honorable mention number two goes to SQL Sharp, a library which uses the common language runtime to extend functionality in SQL Server. There's a paid edition, which includes more functionality, but even the free edition has a lot to offer. Microsoft has, over the years, introduced a good amount of this functionality into SQL Server itself, but SQL Sharp includes support for regular expressions and Twitter. I mean, how else are you gonna tweet from your database? Now, onto the list proper. Number five, the humble calendar table. If you live in the data warehousing world, you will also hear this thing called a date dimension. At its core, this is a table which gives us a single row per day and includes some pre-calculated details about the date, such as day of the week, week of the month, week of the year, even if it's a holiday you care about. Sorry, Arbor Day, you didn't make that cut. You can find a large number of sample scripts online showing how to build one of these tables, and I even have one of my own, plus a follow-up which includes certain holidays. You might be looking at the screen right now and saying, Kevin, we don't need a calendar table. We can just do the date math ourselves in T-SQL. I mean, yeah, you could, but we're civilized people here. Also, here's the formula to figure out what day of the year Easter falls on. How many queries do you want to include that in? Because for me, the answer is one. The one which generates my date table, and then I never have to think about it again. But Kevin, my company doesn't need to know what day Easter is. Okay, but everyone cares about Thanksgiving. It is the most important holiday of the year for everybody. And yet the specific date hops around each year, like, um, a turkey. Wait, there's a Canadian Thanksgiving? And an Orthodox Easter? Why does nobody ever tell me these things? Long story short, get a calendar table. All right, let's move on to number four on our list. Number four is the controversy slot. It's the one I have to bring in because I want you telling me in the comments how I disrespected you and your family by putting this one in, but ignoring your favorite. Go ahead, I'll wait. Now that you've settled that score, let's talk about extended events. Extended events are the way to monitor SQL Server in real time. I don't wanna hear about profiler and server-side traces. Look, leave that stuff in the year 2012 with Mayan calendars, bad disaster movies, touchscreen car consoles. You know what, we lost that last battle, but seriously, touchscreen consoles and cars are an awful idea. So we have this concept of extended events. 
but that's just functionality built in a SQL Server. So no, that's not my number four. My number four top add-in for SQL Server is user-defined extended events. Just like my number five, you can find a variety of custom extended event sessions, which provide a huge amount of value. I'm going to call out a set from Derek Hammer, as I've used them to good effect in the past. Derek defines five of them, including one to track long-running queries, one which tracks query timeouts, and sessions which can help you track down recompilation and memory grant problems. This is an excellent starting point if you aren't comfortable creating your own extended events sessions. Now, we got past the controversy slot together, so if you're still with me, good on you. Now let's move on to number three. The number three top add-in for SQL Server is the First Responder Kit from Brent Ozark. This collection brings value on a couple of levels. The first is exploratory analysis. Is there anything particular I should know about given my SQL Server instance configuration? That's the selling point of SP Blitz. If you're looking for more immediate solutions to performance problems, there are a variety of other tools in the kit, like SP Blitz First, SP Blitz Cache, and even SP Blitz Who. It includes some niceties like automating log shipping with SP All Night Log. There's a lot to get you in here, and I like having these in a DBA database. Speaking of a DBA database, this brings me to number two on the list, the Minionware Suite. Sean and Jen McCown have put an enormous amount of effort into creating a scalable solution for automating common DBA tasks, taking backups, dealing with index fragmentation, running CheckDB on servers. There's a paid version which centralizes administration and includes functionality for security auditing and tracking database growth, but even if you stick to the free editions, they work great. I've used combinations of these menuware tools with several clients, and the best thing I can say about them is, once I've set it up, I don't have to think about them again. They just work. And now, for the moment we've all been waiting for, number one on the top five add-ins for SQL Server Countdown. This one has always been number one in my heart, so it was probably the easiest addition to the list. SP Who is Active. Adam Mechanic is a legend, and SP Who is Active is so important to me that I dedicate three separate keyboard shortcuts to running variants of it. When it comes to figuring out what's happening on my SQL Server right now, this hits the sweet spot of easy, effective, and not particularly noisy. If I sent Adam Mechanic one dime every time I used SP Who is Active to diagnose a query performance problem, I'd eventually get a letter back saying, why do you keep mailing me dimes? It wouldn't be enough for someone to retire on, but it'd be enough dimes that it would be weird. That was the top five add-ins for SQL Server. And in fairness, it was a lot of work getting down to just five. That's because there's a large community of people freely sharing their knowledge and expertise. I could easily have extended this to a top 10 or top 15 and still land on top-notch contributions. But now's your opportunity to throw in with additional tools, scripts, and solutions I didn't have time to include. Drop these in the comments, tell the world why you love it so much. We'll have links and show notes in the description below. And until we see each other in the next video, take care.